Alessia Cara brings the spirit of the season in today's entertainment city. But first, we're talking to the stars of what's set to be the most dazzling movie of the year. Retro movie musical La La Land has critics raving, and our Terry Hart caught up with the two stars leading the dance towards award season, Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling, who are no strangers to working together. It's kind of strange that we keep running into each other. Maybe it means something. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. This is the third time for you and Ryan on screen together. What did you learn about each other as performers for this? Well, we had never really had to sing and dance together in a film, so that that alone is, you know, learning to do that kind of side by side was was um was really fun. It was lucky that we had worked together before because there was a lot of work to do and we were able to sort of hit the ground running. Did you feel a different sense of vulnerability, Ryan, around the singing and dancing? Yes, but we had a great team around us, amazing coaches. It was just this endless force of goodwill at our backs. With the singing especially, I think that is, you know, tricky, but everything that's worth doing is, is risky in a sense. And also, like, we're lucky risk risk-takers as actors because it, people's life doesn't depend on it, you know? So the risks are like just emotional or like vulnerable risks, but they're not, they're not, you know. Nobody's hands on a heart. Exactly. Well, pretty sure it's safe to say this risk is working out well for Emma and Ryan. Tune in for more from them all week here on Entertainment City. It's very, very exciting. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. More than half a century after starring in the iconic original, Dick Van Dyke has confirmed he'll be appearing in the upcoming Mary Poppins sequel. Van Dyke, who is now 91, revealed the news to The Hollywood Reporter saying he'll get to do a little song and dance number, and the film takes place 20 years after the original. Mary Poppins Returns will star Emily Blunt as Mary and is set to hit theaters Christmas 2018. Hi, boys. Margot Robbie is officially off the market. The Aussie actress confirmed she's married longtime boyfriend director Tom Ackerley with this cheeky and blingy Instagram post. The Suicide Squad star got hitched down under at Byron Bay yesterday. The couple got engaged earlier this year, and apparently they skipped a wedding cake and served Cocoa Pop cereal to their guests instead. The best Christmas gift, Amy Schumer has bought back her family's old farm as a surprise for her father. The comedian previously revealed her family lost the farm due to bankruptcy after her father was diagnosed with MS when she was 12. Pretty sweet. It's been a banner year for Ontario native Alessia Cara, including a Juno Award and touring the world. And yesterday, the 20-year-old rounded it off with a cozy, stripped-down concert for patients at SickKids Hospital as part of Duracell's Powering Holiday Smiles and Imagination program. Why did you want to be a part of this and bring these kids such joy today? I think it's just important to use my platform um, that I was given now, that I was blessed with, to to give back, you know, to give back to people who really deserve it. And these kids are so innocent and amazing and joyful, and it, it's so nice to see them smile. Just always try to give back. Buy Duracell batteries if you need them. I'm sure you need batteries. Buy some so you can help out these kids who really deserve it. It's awesome. What a year. Yeah. 20, like, Alessia, can you wrap your head around where you were 12 months ago and where you are now? Um, no. Just looking back at everything, it's crazy to think that we've done it in a year because it feels like this is like this is stuff that you do in 10 years. Are you taking time off? Are you relaxing? Are you thinking about the next record? Where's your head at now? Um, my head right now, I think it's in holiday mode, so I'm going to chill out for a bit. And then after that, I'm just going to be focusing on making the new, new music, new album. She really is an inspiration, and from Brampton, too. As always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter, at InCity.